Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. Right now, you're looking at me, Mr. Mocha Lover, putting on some planes for our um, future invasion of Cuba. Uh, let's see. Let's just say I've done this once a little bit earlier, and it didn't go so well. So my goal is to hopefully attempt, at least, to improve what I learned from last time that you guys didn't see. This was off-screen, and I didn't do extremely hotly, let's just say. The Cubans have... Quite the defense. So we'll make sure, I'll, at least I'll try to make sure that we do at least okay. So right now, we are currently waiting for time to go on. Uh, Milton Wolf, he is going to be the one to attack the Cubans. Um, we might just want to use a few other divisions. Uh, I don't really have any other divisions elsewhere. American Theater. Eh. Yeah, I don't really have any extra divisions. Do we have any other planes? Give me some planes from this group. Give me all of you. I'll put them back on eventually, but come down to Haiti. Yeah, that's fine. Come to Haiti. Help me out in the Caribbean. And help me out in the Caribbean as well, my friends. I definitely will need some planes for <clears throat> these purposes. You come here, but I want... Yeah, you, close air support, cut in half. Come down here. Alright, so we are just going to go ahead wait to invade Cuba, and then we have the justification for Panama as well. Ooh, longest bombing. Uh, that's not good. So, we have standing by. Um, Actually, if anything, you come over here and you come over here. Now, I do... I want the uh, Caribbean Sea, whatever. Y'all come over here. And uh, let's say we'll do this. Can we add some? No, we cannot add any radar. That sucks. Uh, that should be okay, though. We are building quite a few military factories, which is great, 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 great to see. Uh, someone did leave a comment saying that as much as I complain about lag, I could unite Germany together because they're, you know, pretty divided right now. Or Yugoslavia. Well, for Yugoslavia, I was thinking about Slovenia, but it would be a little too far away from Italy to really give it good justifiable claims to have you know to be to claim overship over Slovenia Austria no the French want to make sure that the Austrians are disempowered same thing with the Croatians if that, that's just a little bit too far away Hungary is too far away from Slovenia so I'm gonna leave that area alone the same thing with Germany I really don't think at least for gameplay purposes these are going to be fine all separated for now at least so we have the world first science Fiction convention today in New York City. The first ever world science fiction was convened, gathering literary minds in science fiction to discuss and talk about the genre of science fiction. Actually, before I do anything else, you know what? I'm going to do three more. Just in case to help. Uh, you guys come from here and help out. Here. Cool. Anyways, um, it had such people such as John W. Campbell, Isaac Asimov, Ray Bradbury, Donald A. Wolheim, Frederick Pohl, John Michael, Robert A. W. Loundis, there goes Malaya, and Rubber, and Jack Gillespie. While it had a modest size of 200 participants, it was still considered a success with a second one planned next year. The world of tomorrow. Oh, my dear. Uh, let's get stuff from, you know what? We're going to help out the Baratia Commune since they are fighting the good fight for all workers. Let's do that and continue to add in... Uh, actually, you come up to the top. I need you at the top. Just add in a bunch of military factories. Do it towards the center of America. Uh, uh you know what? I knew this would happen. That there's so many national populists and authoritarian Democrats down here that I figured they would form their own faction. Authoritarian Democratic, national populist, national populist, yeah. Anti-syndicalism, Chile. Chile, why? Why you must be like this? Ooh, destroy! Oh yeah, we definitely want to continue destroying longest terrorists. We've got the M1 carbine. And I'll do bazooka next. Let's get some better guns going. Yeah, we really need to probably focus a little bit more on our planes, which we are doing, which is good with all these military factories being built as well. Good, good, good. Yeah, just keep building, guys. Keep on building. I do have coffee here as well. Tastes pretty good. Pretty good coffee. Uh, let's see, for you, Benjamin Katine. Wait, oh, I thought I put orders on... Oh. I thought you were already making your way down here. I was wrong. I was mistaken. 
it'll take oh wait you kind of are you just have to take a lot of time to get down here that's fine about a week that's fine we have until november to declare war november 17th which is fine with me we got some carrier fighters that is great almost 71 days for better artillery we're gonna need that against the cubans trust me um hmm 1942 oh oh yeah let's do this encryption decryption type of stuff yeah that's good to have and carrier fighter planes thank you very much see planes are doing okay down here yep cool we can actually add these over here now so they can help out in Cuba let's see let's take a quick look at Cuba's military uh, prowess oh they got a lot of national spirits not a bunch of manpower they got a couple divisions here and there office of American affairs they get a bonus against the United States but I'm not the United States oh I told them to yeah don't go yet Defensive army. Ah, they got more entrenchment and def division defense. That's why I didn't do so well against them last time. Oh, there goes Mozambique. Good job, Union of South Africa and Portugal. Oh, yeah, Port. Yeah, South Africa really wanted a portion of this. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, it looks like this might want to come to here. Just yeah, you know, to minimize the lag. You know, it's Africa. No one's going to really tell the difference if this tiny, tiny state was gone or taken over by someone else. No one will notice the difference. No one will. Oh, wait. And we do also have Indians over here that we want to help support. Well, before we go to war with Cuba, let's go help out John Tisa and his little three, four divisions over here. We are kind of moving. A little bit. Not very much, but a little bit. Manpower allocated. More ground crews in the Caribbean Sea. I clicked on that? Huh. Alright. Well, we're doing an okay job. Not a great job over here, but an okay job. Ah! Indian Revolution Committee! The native people of America have long been mistreated by the old capitalist government. Through the Bureau of Indian Affairs, they sold their land for the, for the to turn a profit. Okay. That's kind of missing a word over here. Probably a noun. Now that we've done away with the old Bureau of Government, we can address the issue of the Indians. Thus, the Indian Revolutionary or Revolution Committee has been created. The IRC will work with the local tribes and communities about how to handle the abuses. Oh God, there goes Sweden. That the Bureau of Government did, and how the revolution and its ideals can be implemented within their territory. Cool. We got less war support. So really, only lost one war support. And probably Sweden is getting released. But John Tisa, level four. Pretty good defender, pretty good supplier. Um, with a knight piece, maybe not so great. The Indians have really dug in the uh, Dominion of India Indians, and they're Sweden. It's a mess. Yay! Oh, they're they killed Christ again. Okay, support the of uh, support of the Church of Sweden. Okay, cool. Uh, looks like Russia isn't really doing super well, but that's okay. Wait, what's going on over here? Uh, oh no, Canada's coming back. That's not good. That's really not good. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to war. Oh, crap. Oh, our soldiers are almost down here, though. We have until November 17th. The divisions in India, helping out the Bharatiya Commune, will be okay. Um, I'll give my guys a couple more days, and then we will go to war with Cuba. We get a little bit more chromium. Ah, very good copy. Very good. Alright, one more day and then I will let us go because this is taking a while. Cool. Go ahead and go ahead. Everyone should be ready to go. We got lots of planes. We're going to call all of our allies in. And we're going to ward with Cuba with carrier support. Very cool. 12 cruisers, 30 destroyers, and an improved heavy carrier. Very awesome. Oh, we've got some divisions around here. Benjamin Katine. I'm going to give them some extra support. Benjamin Katine, do you have any upgrades? No, you do not, sir. And have we begun attacking? Yes, we have. Hopefully this does not turn out into a Bay of Pigs type of ordeal. Shore bombardments. We're doing okay-ish. Hmm, Guantanamo Bay, not looking so great. Nope. Man, attacking Cuba, not a great idea. Really not great. Consolidated, huh. We'll do that. And there you go. Oh, I need carrier naval bombers. Right? No, I don't. Just, yeah, I just need the regular naval bombers because I have carrier naval bomber bombers up there. Wow, this is not going so great. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, well, at least we got Guantanamo Bay. Go ahead and build all this area up. We definitely will need it. And, of course, we will try again. Oh, Prouder purges the Daily Worker reactionaries. After months of investigation into the editors of the Daily Worker, President Browder has called for the immediate removal, citing numerous examples of subtextual betrayals within the newspaper, including ghost-written opinion pieces mouthing reactionary ideas. Browder has come to Congress with a list of candidates to ensure the intellectual sanctity of the Daily Worker. This list includes university professors and metropolitan... Uh, sophisticates, all pioneers in the social ramifications of planned economy. All were approved, and thus the mind of America is once again safe from pollution. Ah, yes. You disagree with me, you're gonna get purged. I love it! Cool, we got Emancipation for All, which helps our production efficiency cap, war support stability, population, and monthly population. Nice. And we're gonna help the Wamen next. Great. Hmm. Well, some of these guys didn't make it so successfully over. Some of you guys made it, and you probably are going to start starving soon. Actually, if I do that, which probably won't work. I want that... Oh, dang, I can't take that airbase. It's a militia division, so we might be okay. Awesome. Awesome. I want you to actually... I want you to stay here. So we have a little bit of a, some room here to move around, just in case, as we try to build more things here. And where are you guys? You guys are starving for supplies. You guys are needing some assistance. So I'm going to actually re-invade certain areas. We're going to invade over here, and then we're going to try, tr desperately try, an invasion from here to Santiago de Cuba, because that's really what we need. Is that it? I believe that should be it, for at least in terms of invasion support. Good, good, good. Hmm. Uh, actually, you know what? They're probably su producing enough supplies down in Santiago de Cuba. But for you guys, I want you to switch. Convoy rating. Over here. No accessible... Well, just get over here, then. Come to Florida, then. It'll take you a while, but whatever. That's okay with me. Just build, build, build. It's going to take quite a while to build that stuff up. Less than a month, a few weeks. And Japan has declared war on Hawaii, which is a war, basically a declaration of war against me, who is in the Entente. So now Japan is at war with Russia. Oh, the Commune of France is over here. Okay. Cool. Just don't attack me, Cuba. Don't attack me. I know, I'm just trying to divide you up. Oh, uh, god dang it, Cuba. You know what? If you can't get over there, that's okay. Just defend. Because I do have guys coming over, hopefully, in about eight days. And we are trying to get some more supplies up through here. You know what? Can I just walk into Havana? If I can do that, then I could just capitulate them. Nice. We're defending fairly okay. Yeah, actually... Ooh, travel in America. How much manpower do they have left? Quite a bit. Oh, they're on scraping the barrel. Holy cow. Anyways, with the revolution over and the reconstruction underway, a debate over the future of travel has come up. Automotive unions believe that cars will be the perfect vehicle for the new America, a symbol of the freedom that Americans fought for. However, the trade unions contest that claim and believe that America should invest in trains as a way to connect all towns and cities. Who shall we support? The automotive unions or trade unions? Hmm. Sorry, I was drinking some coffee. I want to say automotive unions because I like the freedom that people can use. I mean, if you try to go to, you know, other towns that doesn't have train tracks that going through it, those towns will die if you don't give them cars. So, let's do automotive unions. This sounds like a recipe for a potential disaster. Ooh, we can rebuild areas. Hmm. Actually, or could we use our political power for something else? Partial mobilization? What about war economy? No. Okay, partial mobilization looks like we're going to stay on that for quite a while. Oh, how about this? Oh, I want to save up for this. More military factory construction speed. Yes, please. Okay, how many more days? You have five more days. Oh, God. Five more days for our guys to starve. Here, we are building some land forts, which is good. And it's going to take quite a while for us to get more naval dockyards. Unfortunately. Am I researching? Currently. No, I'm not researching better logistic companies for our divisions. They have signal companies. They need logistic companies. What am I doing? Abyssinian finally declared war 
on Somalia. All right, up oh, we got some guys going in the water. Hopefully they can take out one area here. Santiago de Cuba has five divisions. Are you kidding me? They're really dug in. So these guys aren't going to make it. However, if we can take this area, we can unite both sides and kind of suppress Santiago de Cuba. Come on, if you can get to Havana, that's all I would really, really, really want. Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum. Oh, actually, industrial steel. I love the Steelers. Well, not really. I don't like the Steelers at all. But... 10% research speed, civilian, and military construction speed. Comp oh, wow, that's 30% radar construction speed. But this gives you the same benefits as industrial company, except it has 5% slower industrial speed, but you get more resource efficiency gain. Bethlehem Steel, thank you very much, Pennsylvania. I knew we kept you around for a reason. Awesome. Yeah, give me that chromium. Give me that Cuban chromium. Oh, yes, we got some more divisions in here. Who can starve along with us? I love it. And actually, um, actually, our subs aren't over here yet. Go ahead and hold. I'm going to actually do this. Do that. That's fine. Santiago de Cuba, Guantanamo Bay are all... Oh, we got bushwhacked here. Hmm. Well, as long as we get one port through here, I mean, that's really what we're fighting for. I'll take you, and I want to put you over here. One, Just a single division. Just one. That should be able to stop the advance of whoever. Actually, they have a... Looks like a militia division. No, well, it's not really militia. It's more just infantry battalion. Ten combat width, it looks like. Just fine. That's not too bad. As we are literally waiting for... The president uncovers the greater business plot. What in the world? Earl Browder and the Attorney General appeared to Congress today to allege that they uncovered a connection between the corporations that supported Huey Long, MacArthur, and the Pacific States. Oh my goodness. This accusation alleges that business interests in America were behind the degradation of civil politics during the revolution. And in events of either MacArthur, the PSA, or Long winning, the corporations would be the true power behind the presidency. The president has proposed immediate complete dissolution and ex- appropriation to the state of assets belonging to traders in this grand conspiracy. Congress has taken it back with the most initially with most initially supporting this measure. The list of traders, however, caused a concern among certain members of the IWW and the AFL. It appears that some of the corporations on the chopping block include large pharmaceutical companies like Merck and Company. Many congressmen Many congressmen worry that punishing the medical profession will harm the life expectancy of the CSA. An alternative proposal for these corporations to be collectivized and their members rehabilitated and let free. Um, I'm thinking actually having them rehabilitated would probably be best for everyone. I mean, I have 70.48% totalist ideology popularity. I think I don't want to hurt your average American because they still need pharmaceutical goods. So let's go have them rehabilitated, which means they, yeah, 65% still pretty good. It looks like we got a couple extra divisions here. Very awesome. Is there you want to hear? And redistrib redistributing corporate wealth. One of the few things Reed has agreed with, or agreed with, the villainous Huey Long, is on wealth redistribution. Reed's wartime rationing has given way to a peacetime legislation to prevent the robber baronies uh, he had fought all his life. This is enacted in the form of his final wishes to Congress, the expert. The expro of all assets owning, ooh, David, cool, owned by a single person in excess of 10 million U.S. dollars. Earl Browder has taken this step one step further to decry the idea of corporations and has threatened to declare the legal concept of corporations to be illegal. The very next day, the state offices were inundated with hundreds, if not thousands, of formal requests to dissolve corporations into their component businesses and applications for new consortiums in the same breath. It is obvious to Earl Browder that this is just a ploy for the robber barons to hide their business practices from the government and has ordered a mor moratorium on reclassification until wealth redistribution is over. Wow, holy crap, that's a lot to read. Uh, we're going to rebuild, not Alaska. Okay. Do we have a, oh, we do have a port. No, we're, now we're going to get some supplies here. Now these guys are going to go eat poop. Eat poop, Cuba. Oh, there you go. Anyway, debates over union membership and the fees. Oh, we're getting attacked, but we do have some extra supplies now. Thank God. I thought we were going to lose Cuba and lose a lot of divisions. What sounded like a simple pro proposition during the revolution, that of abolishing segregation has run into numerous potholes. Starting with the debate over whether union membership fees were an 
inherently discriminatory towards black workers. Evidence on both sides appears inconclusive, and most of the unions that were rejected from the Constitutional Convention have protested in favor of a maximum union membership fee. These protesters claim to be discriminated against based on their race by the openly anti-racist IWW. Then came the union. Congressmen from the newly liberated states were protesting that forcing integration is a violation of their union rights to collectively bargain. Holy crap. Ultimately, the IWW have persevered in Congress and publicly shamed the new congressmen and protesters as reactionaries. Oh my goodness. It sounds like we're going to get to a new revolution or something. We had one revolution, but what about a second, a third one, a fourth one? Oh, happy 1943, everyone. Uh, what we want the most is nuclear technology, but also construction speed. Cool. Awesome. And, of course, we have Guantanamo Bay now. Now we're going to kick some Santiago de Cuba booty. Cuba, this is what you this is what you get for trying to kill me earlier. Even though, yes, I know this is your land. Oh, this is really glitchy. Oh, my goodness. Peace conference is over. Calculating effects. Um, it looks like the Entente and the Third International are no longer at war with each other. Oh, uh, uh, well, never mind. Uh, the Union Britain, are you feeling okay? Well then, I thought the Union Britain would be doing better than this. Um, wow. So you are still fighting the Entente, huh? So yeah. Oh wait, no, it was the uh, maybe the Ottoman Empire or something. Maybe maybe it was the Third International and the Co-Prosperity Sphere. Okay, so actually, let's see. Japan is still at war with the Entente, which is fine. Oh, Anthem for the New America. Congress is debating what Anthem shall become the official Anthem of the United States. Actually, you guys can all do that. Come over here, and I'll just let the time go on as we start kicking some more booty. Awesome. Several songs have quickly become the candidates to debate. The question is, in which shall be voted on to become the official Anthem of America? Solidarity forever. There's power in the union. This land is your land. Um, I kind of like this land is your land. Because that kind of tells me that, you know, even though you might be from another place, you can come here, work hard, become a union member, and enjoy the fruits of your and your compatriots' labor. I kind of like that. Now, will this bite us in the butt maybe 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now? Probably, but you know what? That's not now. This is now, and we're going to enjoy what we can now. God, I sound like I'm not going to bring it up. Anyways. Uh, cool. Smedley Butler. Oh, he's got a lot of things. Uh, do logistics wizard. I think that'd be for the best. Uh, I guess we are attacking. Yeah, we don't need that there. And actually, we probably don't need forts here anymore, so whatever. They serve their purpose. I'm going to keep building naval bases in Cuba, just because. Great, great, great. Oh, we got... Oh, oh, baby. Yeah, we got some of that chromium right now, because we got that Cuban chromium. That CC, man. And, of course, we can go to war with Panama next. Uh, we have until February. We have bazookas. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and plan my invasion of Panama right now. They have a couple divisions. Let's see. You know what? I'm going to take you now instead of the other guy. Uh, take two at a time. Come from here and invade. Uh, let's see. That means I'm going to need naval invasion support on both sides, which is fine since we do have two groups here. You come from here and you invade the capital, I suppose. Now, I wish the ports were on the other side of Cuba, or the other side of uh, Panama, closer to the Caribbean than the Pacific, but whatever. And one more to invade. Um, here, I guess. Doesn't really matter. And actually, I already sent my subs to come over here, but we don't need you over here anymore. So I'm going to actually send you over to here. Sorry, you came all the way to Florida just to be sent back. Cool. 1943. All right, we'll research that. A lot of factories. I love it, love it, love it. We are getting attacked in Cuba by a bunch of Cubans. By five enemy Cuban divisions. They beat one of our divisions, which is fine. You know, we don't, can't win every battle. But then we have another one that is getting attacked as well and not doing so great. Even though this is a pretty good division. Now we're getting attacked by five still. That's fine. Cool. Oh, we lost something here. Minus five something. Oh, production efficiency cap, which is fine since this gave us a little bit more. Uh, let's see. 
Let's do revolutionary education so we get another research slot. That'd be great, 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 great. Nice. Oh, we're actually mobilizing. Nice. Very cool. Yeah, Cuba. We've lost 20,000 Americans compared to the 74,000 Cubans, so I think we're doing okay. And we have until February 27th, which is quite a bit of time. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Oh, now we're getting attacked. Milton Wolf, you're doing a great job. You're a Hills fighter. You're going to become like the next Teddy Roosevelt. You're fighting in Cuba, doing the union's work. Yeah, union's work, not God's work. It's union's work. Doing great, great, great. You know what? We'll call in Haiti as well, just because we love Haiti. Cool. <laughs> we love Haiti. Ha, ha, ha. We'll send him some support. Yeah, some, some, some relief. Growth. Cool. Yeah. Let's see. Carry naval bombers. Switch it over. Great. Do we need anything here? Planes. And the Fall of Havana. Their defiance was never going to prevail. And, of course, we should probably start making some close air support planes because I am actually using a few close air support planes. You set to three since I'm okay with that since we're going to be building up a lot of factories anyways. And Cuba is now ours. Thank you very much. Guantanamo Bay. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Hold on, let's see. Get rid of that. We don't need that. We don't need that. We don't need that. Cool. All right, so, like I said before... I do want some sort of like West Indies Union, so what I am going to do, besides with the avant-garde film, is I'm going to go ahead and just give this to Haiti, since Haiti is actually one of our main states already anyways right now. So I'm going to take all three, give it to Haiti. Haiti, you are not allowed to release Cuba. You're going to core it just because you probably need the manpower. And this will be a Pan-Caribbean Union. That's really what I want in the end. Cool. See, Haiti, if you're under America, you're going to feel a little bit better. Maybe not so great, but you're definitely going to feel a little bit better. All right, anyways, I'm going to send all of you to Mexico. Or Central America. Anyways, avant-garde films. Uh, film forms are not inherently a political tool, but the artists have shown on overwhelming support for the SPA in 1936. From the Surrealists in New York City, shocking viewers with graphic sex on screen, wow, it's the 1930s, to the Dadaists who challenge the very concept of popular art. As part of this movement, many of the country thousands of movie theaters have been expropriated to ensure that work of this caliber is not censored by prudish theater owners. They are brightly painted, carrying on board of a printing press, government complaint office, printed political leaflets and pamphlets, library books, and a mobile movie theater. Wow. Theaters are part of the new revolutionary government to indicate the values and programs to the scattered populace of America, particularly the rural regions of the country. Make sure kids don't see the surrealist films. What? What? I'm sure it's, the boys would love to see it. Well, maybe, maybe not. Not if there are two guys on screen. Maybe not. Anyways. Um, let's see. We have you coming down. Where are you? Oh, you're pretty much in southern Mexico. That's okay, then. You should have enough time to do whatever you need to do. Destroy the longest terrorists and remove the spirit of fading away longest... We can feral resistance. Nice. Fading longest resistance. Great. Really, really great. We're doing really well now. Let's take a quick look at how the world itself is doing as everyone is dying around it. Um, well, the Third International is kicking some butt, but the Entente's kicking some Union of Britain butt. They've really taken a massive stronghold in the Union of Britain. Which is not good for the commune of France if they lose their loyal ally. The fight has stalled out in what is what was known as Turkey. Um, the Entente is kicking some Japanese booty in the Middle East, which is weird to say. The Bharatiya commune is kicking some Entente booty in India. And Japan is slowly expanding into the bare butt cracks of Russian Empire. Yeah, going into that there butt crack of Russia. That's a weird thing to say. Cool. So cool. we got three divisions over here. We're definitely going to need a couple more. And actually... Actually, I'm going to need all you guys down back, down over here. There's only 200 spots for this, but that's okay. Go, go ahead and build that up and build a crap ton of factories. We have until February 27th. Okay, we got a lot of time. We have Federalist bombing. That is quite unfortunate. My goodness, guys, you're only coming from Canada. How long is it going to take you? And actually, you know what? You're all down here. I can actually send probably three more divisions to help out. So you come from here, and you will help invade Panama. And if this doesn't work, so be it. And actually, we have 51 subs here. So I'm going to send you to L.A., where you guys are going to do some naval invasion support here. Dock in El Salvador. Very, very good. 
You guys should be getting ready to go. My goodness, why are you taking so long to get down here? This is a little pathetic. And we have three divisions ready to go. They have a couple more days that they need before they can actually go themselves. So, you know what? We're going to end it here. And the beginning of the next episode, we will take out Panama. And then start to begin to maybe justify on Grand Colombia. Because someone else said they want me to reunite or recreate Grand Colombia with Panama. And places of that nature. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Cuba took a little bit longer than I initially expected. But, you know, things happen. So with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow as we invade another very humid country that we want to take over, basically. Thanks for watching.